For more such videos, subscribe to Shoot Guru's YouTube channel and press the bell icon for regular notifications. Hi, I'm Kabir from Shoot Guru and today I will talk about the basics of the camera. The three important things that all budding photographers need to know about their cameras and when I say their cameras this is about the DSLR camera. The three most important things are aperture, shutter speed and ISO. And let me explain how these three things combine to take a good photograph. Aperture, shutter speed and ISO make the foundation for any good photograph. As far as aperture goes, think of a window, the size of the window. How large is the opening is what aperture is. The larger the size of the opening, more the light that comes into the lens. And from the lens, it goes into the sensor and that's how a picture is formed. The shutter speed is how long do you keep the window open? which is a time-based calculation in fractions of seconds or in seconds. And that's what determines how much light comes in. Both these values of aperture and shutter speed, they control the amount of light that comes in through the lens. One by size and the other by time. ISO on the other hand, controls the sensitivity of the sensor on which the light actually falls. And when I say sensitivity, it's like a sponge. How much water can it soak in if you put the sponge on the water? A highly sensitive sponge will soak up a lot of water and a very thin sponge will soak up very little water. So that's what a sensor is and that's what the sensitivity, sensitivity of the sensor is. How much light it takes is what ISO controls. So the smaller the number, the less the sensitivity. The higher the number, more the light it sucks in and captures on the sensor itself. Now, there are a couple of other things that you need to know about all these three topics. As far as aperture is concerned, it not only controls the amount of light come, that comes in, but it also controls the depth of field. What is depth of field? Basically, there is only one point in which the lens can focus, but the space in front of that point and behind that point that seems to be in focus is called the depth of field. You need to know that those points in front and the back are not actually in focus, but they are adequately clear so that the eye cannot really make out that they are out of focus. When it comes to shutter speed, that also controls, besides the amount of light, it also controls the amount of movement or blur that the camera can capture or the sensor can capture. At a shorter and at a slower shutter speed, it can actually capture the movement of an object which is moving from one space to the other in front of the lens. But if it's a very, very short period of time, could be a fraction of a second, it could be in certain new cameras one by 3200th of a second or even faster one by 4000th or one by 8000th of a second which is trust me a very very short period of time can capture a flying bird in mid-air or a race car in mid-action. So it is a very very short period of time which actually goes into uh, taking the photograph and it can capture motion. Now on the flip side, if you have a very slow shutter speed, which means that it is capturing one by hundredth of a second or even one second or two seconds or how much ever you keep the shutter open for, the movement in front of the camera may not stop and the camera is actually recording the entire thing while the movement is happening. So any kind of motion blur, any kind of movement can be captured by the camera and it can show the thing. So this is what uh, the basics of photography and the basics of camera are and uh, thank you for listening.